former Buckingham Palace chef Darren McGrady revealed the monarch is a proper chokeaholic And despite not being fussy at all about every other meal, she won't eat just any candy bar When it comes to chocolate, he discovered she has very clear demands He said she likes chocolate, but only dark chocolate, the darker the better She's not a big fan of milk or white chocolate. The chef then revealed Bendix Bitterments, small dark chocolate treats filled with mint which earned the royal warrant in 1962, are the queen's favorite for snacking. The 56-year-old chef got to know the eating habits of the monarch as he cooked for her for more than 10 years between 1982 and 1993. Chef McGrady revealed the queen, when she is on her own, is very frugal and asks only for grilled or poached fish accompanied by vegetables and a simple salad, avoiding as much as possible potatoes or starch But her snacks are far more elaborate. According to her former chef, the queen's love for chocolate is the only lavish eating habit she has In his opinion, the queen simply eats to live, rather than living to eat. Her frugality is in stark contrast with the lavish state dinners she has been attending during her reign. The chef said, she's very disciplined like that. She could have anything she wanted, but it is that discipline that keeps her so well and so healthy. Her healthy eating style includes bringing to the table homegrown vegetables, fish and pheasants from her various estates, including Balmoral and Windsor Chef McGrady said the Queen loves to eat food from the estate The monarch may have passed on to Prince Charles her healthy habit, as the Prince of Wales has always been a fierce supporter of organic food Chef McGrady, who on occasions also cooked meals for the crown's heir, said Prince Charles was organic before organic was even invented The chef, who before entering the royal kitchen worked at the Five Star Savoy Hotel in London, became Princess Diana's chef after 1993 He served in the kitchen of Prince Charles's former wife until her death in August 1997